Uh, most of you are used to being able to turn the um, requirement for your users to have to log in on and off. Uh, if this option is checked, all Foxtrot users will be prompted to log in to use Foxtrot. If you uncheck this option, they will not be prompted and everyone can use Foxtrot. All they have to do is run it, just like you were starting up uh, Microsoft Word. Now off to the right here, um, we have simple authentication, which is the default profiles that you're used to um, setting up in Foxtrot. However, many of our larger enterprise customers says, you know, we've got an Active Directory server. We want Foxtrot to tie into our Active Directory so that people can use their Windows username and password to log into the system. We've added that ability here. You switch this to Active Directory Authentication, LDAP for short, and now when you hit Add User, notice it does not uh, prompt you to enter a password because now I'm able to pull um, a username directly off my Active Directory. So if I put in J Doe and hit check name, this is not a valid Active Directory account, so this should come back and tell me that this is not an existing user. Username is invalid. Now if I were, let's say to add my Windows username, hit check name, what this does is it goes out to the Active Directory server, verifies that the username that you've entered is correct, and then if it is, it's a valid user, it'll report that information here under the account. Actually, our Active Directory server is not, not working at the moment. Once you assign the username here, once you hit check name, you would see the uh, fully qualified name here. This access level is the permission that you're granting them into Foxtrot, which differs from the access that they've been given on their Active Directory account. So in, as an example, you can have a domain admin name here, but only grant them operator access in the Foxtrot. Or vice versa, you might have a lockdown Windows account with very few permissions, but give them administrator rights in the Foxtrot one. And of course, you can disable the account. So if my Active Directory server was available, this would you'd be able to add this name. Now, uh, we've given this to some of our biggest clients already. Um, they're reporting that it works very, very quickly in their organization, which is great. Um, so I'd be very interested to know how well this feature is working for you. So if you, if you try using this and you have a success story or you have any trouble, please let us know. Uh, I'd like to see how this is working out for you.